Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video and today we are going to speak regarding migration. I just checked and I have not spoke about migration at all uh, and I think this is like one of the uh, main and most important aspects of the game. What is migration in general? Well, uh, since you are starting the game, you are choosing the server where you're gonna start playing with your alliance member or with your kingdom mem kingdom's uh, people. But whenever season is finishing, you have an option to change your server and it's called migration. Uh, to migrate to the different server, you need to have at least 5000 um, gems. That's the cost of the migration. I think in the future, approximately in May, we are going to have a free migration and that will be really, really helpful, especially for free-to-play players because we generally prefer to spend those gems on different stuff than uh, migrating to New Kingdom. So whenever you have a 5000 gems, uh, you need to wait for this page. At first, it will be a preview, like migration is about to begin, you can migrate to another server in the same division. Whenever migration will start, you will gonna click on this migration uh, button and you have an option on where you can uh, change the kingdom where you are, wherever you want, right? Green means that there is a normal amount of people, it's not that crowded. Active means that like there is some of the alliances um, changing the server on that special server and crowded and full, uh, whenever you're gonna see a red uh, dot, which means full, it means that uh, this kingdom is full and you won't gonna be able to migrate on, on this destination. So, uh, like, uh, try to communicate with your alliance members because every time, the, whenever your alliance is trying to migrate, that's where you want to be. Uh, so, like, if you will spend a lot of time without migrating and your alliance members will just change the server, it will get full and it will be impossible for you to follow your alliance members, right? And in general, in my opinion, alliance and alliance activities such as behemoths, wars, gifts from your alliance members is one of the main uh, thing about Call of Dragons and in general Kingdom Builder games, right? Without your own community, without your alliance, it will be pretty boring. It would be just farming game, which nobody likes. So we understand the migration option, 5000 gems. If it's full, you won't gonna be able to migrate on the full server. If it's crowded, it means that soon it will be full and you need to hurry up. Whenever you're gonna migrate to New Kingdom, then it will be a summary. During the season summary, you will receive season rewards based on your performance during this season. So summary is about like if you have uh, captured the Magma Demon or Frost Dragon. It depends, right? Like if you are a normal member and if your like alliance captured at least one Magma Demon, you will be able to receive 300 gems. Uh, your compendium will be the epic one. And also you will get a Conqueror Crystal Store. Uh, and it depends, of course, like what kind of activities you have done uh, during the kingdom. Like if you have helped your alliance building some towers that's going to give additional uh, currency in order to get the season rewards. And especially if you are officer, you are getting more gems. And if you are leader, you are getting even more gems. So it kind of matters how you're going to play with your alliance simply because like if you have not defeated the Magma Demon, you're gonna get enduring uh, season ending rewards. And the deeper difference is pretty big, um, not only uh, regarding like gems and stuff, like you are getting less compendium, you are getting uh, like less gems, and you are getting less enduring crystal stores currency. So it's kind of important to follow your alliance. Uh, alliance to capture the behemoths, to win the wars, to build as much towers as possible, so you will get, you will have a lot more currency in the game, and this is an ending rewards. And in my opinion, nothing can compare to these rewards. Like it's impossible to get gold crest through the normal um, keys. It's impossible to get uh, flame, infernal flame. It's impossible to get dragon scale armor, gray, uh, gray mars, warhammer. So, like, in general, if you are lacking some artifacts, then the end of the season rewards is, like, one of the main options for you to continue to try to get as much and as better artifacts as possible. So, we're gonna continue, as you know, like, summary is all about rewards. 
and whenever we're gonna be on a summary option we will have a, a ability to see what kind of rewards we are going to get uh, like this is a normal this is like most important period of the kingdom whenever we are starting to get to the new season and we are getting the new rewards after that we're gonna have a matchmaking uh, you will be matched with the players from other servers in your division and enter this new season alongside them. So it depends if you have changed and migrated to new kingdom, then your whole alliance will be matched with different alliances in that kingdom. If you stayed on your current uh, server in your current kingdom, if anybody around the Call of Dragons server will migrate to your server, it's a matchmaking. Like you, like it means that everybody is trying to. Uh, pull into the one whole kingdom and whenever the matchmaking will finish we will understand with whom we are going to fight or make some friends so like in, in general this whole option of migration is really really important for the game after much matchmaking is done we are getting uh, like region selection you can select your affiliate region where you will begin the new season this option is for alliance leaders and i'm not sure it's for alliance officers Whenever alliance leader will click on the desired region, whole alliance will teleport on that region, right? In the past, it was different. Every single member should have like clicked on a, a specific region to start the new season. But after the updates, like only leaders need to do that, so it's get it got way way easier. Simply because a lot of people were getting lost. Uh, like starting the server was like pretty chaotic that's why in my opinion simply because of the leader can click only once <clears throat> and the whole alliance will be teleported there also the alliances won't gonna be disbanded and like simply you just need to be in your own alliance and your leader will, leader will do everything for you it got easier for like players in general because people were getting lost there were a lot of questions alliance was disbanding at the start of the season like alliance members limit was less so not a lot of people were able to get to their own alliances so like in general uh, like communities and alliances were getting broken simply because the awkward uh, a system regarding like alliance uh, teleporting to the region so far after after the couple of updates uh, they changed so leader or maybe some officers can just click on the region and every single member of the alliance uh, will be teleported on that region it got it will be like way way easier uh, more coordinated like whenever you are starting the season you want to have less problems regarding alliance because there is a lot of stuff to do you need to level up your heroes change the talents uh, like uh, all of these uh, experience books are uh, scrapped so like start of the season you need to be more uh, be, like you need to do more important stuff that's why this is an amazing change you, are, you need to trust your leader trust your leadership and you will start the new season in a better way after the region will be selected we are going to the new season your new adventure is about to begin forge your legend is uh, in this new land which means that like every step we are making in order for us to start in a better way and start a new season uh, like this is one of the most important aspects of the game like simply because if you have lost uh, the kingdom which you are currently and like if let's say we don't have immigration at all in the game it means that you are stuck you are not having fun and fun is for the alliances who are winning the seasons right that's why it's pretty important to understand how migration works in general uh, if my video will help you i will be more than more than happy because uh, i still have got a lot of questions regarding migration i still see a lot of questions in discord servers how migration generally works it's pretty unfortunate that migration costs 5000 gems especially for free-to-play players it's not that uh, good right i understand that you can uh, gather 1000 gem per week and if you want to migrate you will collect the gems but right for a free-to-play player i would likely to spend those gems on new artifacts or maybe some new hero which gonna be on a lucky spin rather than just uh, uh, spend these 5000 gems in order to change the kingdom um, as i know like in may or in uh, summer 
they are going to change the cost of the migration. It will be free and it will be more free to play friendly. I like the change. I like the direction of the game. And in general, I think migration is pretty important for the whole uh, game because like there is some dramas in some kingdoms there is some fights you sometimes you win sometimes you lose and it's always great feeling that you can start over you can start from the white paper uh, maybe you want to change alliance and maybe you don't want to continue playing with the same people over and over again so like this migration option just gives the game a fresh start and in general fresh starts are really important if you just don't like the people you are playing with uh, and of course the rewards um, uh, which are you getting whenever you're gonna start the server is really really important a lot of new artifacts which we can't simply get that's the main idea like spring blades spirit bone torque gold crest like a lot of uh, rewards that you are getting is important unfortunately these rewards are viable for a pay to win players and for the free to play players you are able to get those rewards only from season ending rewards that's why i always suggest to save up some gems in order to spend those gems in these compendiums because like as i will repeat again a lot of artifacts which are here is impossible to get like for example let's remember spirit bone torque let's remember infernal flame and gold crest and let's go and let's check if you will be able to get uh, them from the altar well as you can see it's impossible to get those artifacts that's why i think uh, it's really really important to save the gems i know it's kind of hard whenever you have to spend 5000 gems every uh, season ending but if you are farming those gems if you are in a good alliance where your alliance members are spending uh, uh, in the game you will get some free gems by just playing the game so like it shouldn't be a problem uh, this is all i wanted to speak uh, about the migration in general uh, this is very important topic this is really important so every each of the player who plays the call of dragons they need to understand how this migration works it's pretty unfortunate that the, this all migration stuff takes like approximately two weeks but what can we do? It's better to have this option than uh, don't have it, right? Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to write on the comment section. I'm always trying to answer every single comment which is under my videos. And of course, if you like the content, if you like the channel, press uh, like, comment, subscribe. I'm, I'm always feeling pretty awkward whenever I'm asking for some subscription. But guys, it's free. Uh, like I'm all I'm cringing every time whenever I'm saying like press like comment and subscribe I always prefer uh, people to do it by themselves without my uh, words but whenever I say analytics of my channel I see that uh, like almost 90% of the uh, viewers are not subscribed so yeah that's your decision also that's your decision if you want to migrate or not and my job and my hobby is to explain and give you the examples in a much more informative way than anybody else uh, thanks for watching i hope you are having a lot of fun playing call of dragons because i am um, finally i'm able to go to the season ti uh, it will be a lot of fun a lot more new videos a lot for new content so stick around uh, i'm not going to stop making videos every day and whoever already subscribed thank you so much um, and i'm gonna see you very very soon Bye-bye, and I'm gonna see you soon. Thanks for watching.